Hi, this is Darren Van Soy from Trekking the Planet. Last night, about 2 a.m., we crossed the equator. The equator represents an imaginary line circling the Earth halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. The equator is at latitude zero degrees. Trekking the Planet will be crossing the equator three more times during our trip, and all of the crossings will occur on the sea. Our next equator crossing will occur at the end of March when we cross from the south to the north in Indonesia between the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. We are definitely in the tropics. We've noticed that the air temperature is increasing as we sail south from Hawaii. Today the air temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees centigrade. It has also become much more humid. The tropics exist between the tropics Tropic of Cancer at latitude 23 and a half degrees north, and the Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and a half degrees south. Like the equator, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn are imaginary lines that circle the Earth and represent the limit of the Sun's vertical rays. Just to give you a few points of reference, San Diego, California, our starting point for this journey, is at latitude 34 degrees north. Hawaii is 21 and a half degrees north and Pango Pango American Samoa our next destination is 14 degrees south. Another interesting thing will occur on Friday night February 10th. When we wake up the next day it won't be Saturday it will be Sunday instead. That's because we will be crossing the International Date Line. The International Date Line is an imaginary line that runs through the middle of the Pacific Ocean roughly following 180 degrees longitude. A traveler crossing the International Date Line eastbound towards the United States subtracts 24 hours, so in effect the same calendar date to the west is repeated. Similarly, a traveler crossing the International Date Line westbound away from the United States, like we are, adds 24 hours, so it, the day is actually skipped. Now a question you might ask at this point is, where does that lost day go? In fact, Trekking the Planet is traveling the world in a westerly direction. Approximately twice every month we will cross another time zone. Each time we'll add one hour, so we will gain the 24 hours we lost on Saturday back in increments of two hours per month until we return home. If you're still having problems understanding the concept of the international date line, you can verify its need by using a globe and counting time zones to the east and to the west of your current location. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye.